So what place for fast fashion in ESG funds? And I ask this because recently the story has all been around underpayment of wages in developed markets to people making these clothes. We've known for many years that people making these clothes in emerging markets have been paid low wages, uh, but, but something seems to be different this time. Is there any place for fast fashion then in uh, ESG funds? We would argue that uh, it's very difficult uh, for, you know, if you're a sustainably led investor or even an ESG led investor to do actually invest in fast fashion. Fast fashion is predicated on two things. It's cheap and it's disposable. And those two things don't go well together with the word sustainable. When we're talking about cheap, it's very much cheap labor. It's exploited labor. And this labor is primarily women from a BME background. Now, it's been interesting that because it's happened in Leicester, in the UK, it's closer to home. But these conditions have been prevalent, in, in, as you said rightly, in other parts of the world, whether it's uh, China, Vietnam, Bangladesh, Turkey, etc. But because it's now come closer to home, people are really, really kind of upset about it. But this has been going on for decades. Uh, and, and investors, certainly on the ESC spectrum, have to ask, is this something we want to be part of? Is this something we can change as well? Uh, we've had some high-profile ESG investors actually, uh, you know, divest from uh, Boohoo in particular, but there's other listed companies as well. So there's a real backlash now uh, against investing in this area. So will these companies change? Will their business model change? Mm. It's, it's a difficult place uh, for a lot of ESG investors that are being. Yeah. Yes, and I imagine there are some investors who hold the same view about this, as some have said to me about oil stocks on the on the environmental front, that there can sometimes be a role for investors to hold stock and to try and influence behaviour. Do you just suspect that that's not happening, though? Uh, not on this, and the same with, the same, same with oil, tobacco, and we as a house, and, and remember, Eden Tree does not invest in Boohoo. In fact, we don't invest in fast fashion. We looked at Boohoo when it IPO'd in 2014, and it didn't pass uh, on E or the S or the G. It's, it's listed on AIM, and some of the governance issues are a, real, are a real problem. Now, we have to ask, can we invest in a sector or a company and change how it behaves? The problem with fast fashion is it's predicated on being a disposable and cheap. If you remove those two things, it doesn't become fast, and it's not fashion anymore. So the very business model itself is really problematic. And is there a place for it in an ESG portfolio? Yeah. There are other there are other firms which you can invest in in the in the kind of fashion value chain which aren't fast and are actually doing it the right way. So from our perspective, yes, you can invest in fashion, but not fast fashion. We think there is not a place for firms which behave like this in terms of exploiting workers, poor working conditions, okay. etc. Not just not not just in the UK, but around the world.